Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we look at getting started with WinUI inside the Visual Studio 2022. Look at all the necessary equipment needed for us to get started. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video as well, and share it if you find it interesting. So, WinUI is a modern native UI framework building Windows applications. So for this video, we're going to create a very simple WinUI application to get you familiar with the basics, yeah? So to get us started, first ensure you have Visual Studio 2022 installed with the Universal Windows Platform Development Workload. If you have already installed Visual Studio 2022, open the Visual Studio installer and click on Modify. So here, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have to make sure that you select this Windows Application Development. Yeah, so this will actually help you build applications for the Windows platform using WinUI, C Sharp, or optionally C++. Okay, so you got to make sure that you have this workload. So this will also install all the necessary components needed for you. Okay. So once you're done with that bit here, yeah, let's close the, the Visual Studio Installer and open our Visual Studio. Okay, so here we go ahead and click on create a new project. So here, obviously, as you can see, I've already selected C Sharp Windows. Here, we can go ahead and select something like um, select. When you are, okay, so as you can see, we already have it. So, as you can see, we've got a bunch of templates that we get started with. So, let's have a look at what we've got here. So, first, we've got a blank app. So this is a project template for creating a desktop app based on the Windows UI library or WinUI free. Or uh, we've got this to create um, a class library and whatnot. So, let's go ahead and select the first page here. Click on the next. So here, obviously, you can configure your project details, but we're not going to match it to that. So let's go ahead and click on the create. So as we can see here now, we've got we've got the um, project created for us. So basically, I've actually moved the project. I mean the solution to the left left hand side and I've got this um GitHub profile of chat here. Basically if you don't if you if you don't know anything about this here, you go back to my previous videos here. I show you how to get started with the GitHub profile of chat. Okay. So now let's have a look. So basically we've got a bunch of uh, as as you can see, I've got two folders and a bunch of files here. So the properties is obviously contains the property. And the, um, for the project, like uh, the launch setting and the public file and whatnot, yeah. And we've got assets. Yeah, the assets contains um, images and um, I mean the static files and images, yeah. And obviously we have the, the app dot XML. So this actually holds the configuration file um, for the project. And we've got the main window. So basically, the main window is split into two got the design bit here and then once we expand it of course we've got a we've got a code behind as well okay as you can see here now it's not it's not very difficult to get yourself started so let's go ahead and run it to see what actually comes out So as you can see here now, we've got the, um, the app running. So it's actually it's nothing really. So it's got this button here. Once you click it, it stays cl um, clicked. So let's go back to the application. So uh, let's have a look here. So as you can see, I've got this stack panel, obviously, which contains the button. And we've got the, uh, the name as my button. And then the click events 
and click me. So let's go to the code behind. So here, obviously, this actually handles the, the click event. So it actually set the content to clicked. That's why when you click it, it says clicked. Basically, let's go ahead and create something a bit useful. So let's come to this uh, GitHub Copilot here. Let's use it to create something. First, let's set it to our workspace. And then let's select the project. App3.cs project. Here, let's write, create an analog block this project. So let's wait for pilot to create um, a very simple clock for this project. And let's see how we can put all of them together. Okay. As you can see, and we've got the code being generated for us, and we've got it completed. So let's let's go back to the the, the starting part. Okay, so here, as you can see, we've got the main, we've got the the, the thumbnail generated for us. Okay, so let's um, select our code and then preview it. So this will actually inside here okay so as you can see here now it's very simple to get us started let's go back to the code and, and then do the same for the code as well so let's preview it inside the code and then accept it so as you can see i've got a bunch of errors that we can resolve quickly so here obviously the timer so let's use uh, the system dot timers okay this will actually resolve the errors here. Then let's come to the main window. So as you can see here now, there is, there is some issue here. So basically this is that error. So the height was not found in. So let's go ahead and, and, and type it here. So the width and height. Is not found in main window. So as you can see here now, we've got something being suggested for us. Okay. So let's have a look at it. Basically suggesting us to actually put in code, but this is what we're going to do. So here we have it inside a grid. So let's go ahead and put and then put it inside a grid. So with let's put 100. And the height 400 as well. So let's leave it as it is here. And then let's put a background as well. So let's put something like white or wheat, whatever. So let, right now, let's go ahead and run it to see what actually comes out of it. So as you can see here now, this is the clock up and running. So right now we've got a very simple first open UI application up and running. I will leave this video here for now so that you can continue to explore it further yourself. Yeah. Once again, if this video helped you to get yourself started, please don't hesitate to, to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with other people as well. I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.